Okay, so 355, this is lesson 8-6, and I think, um, or 8-6, six, six, I think that's how they do it. So if I don't talk too loud, I think this works out pretty well. Sometimes I think it's just because my voice is, I'm talking so loud. So uh, all of you should remember what the area, or the formula for area is, and that's length times width. Okay, so I'm just putting that down there for your own information. I'm really not worried about number one. Um, and they ask how you could define an area. And um, one way they look at area is by using a grid. Okay, so if you had a, had a square, you might divide it up into different, um, might divide it up into a grid. And so you could define area by counting the number of squares or rectangles within a certain shape. But again, I'm not worried about number two. I'm just kind of verbally explaining this to you. So it says number three, we didn't do it because we haven't done this one yet. Um, number three, it says find the area of a rectangle with the side lengths of two thirds uh, foot and a half a foot. So when you're finding area, you know it's length times width. They've given us two, um, two lengths. The first one that I put down is uh, half a foot, and the other one is two-thirds. So really, area is just multiplying the fractions. And we've been doing this for over a week now. One times two is two. Two times three is six. And that's going to be one-third. Okay. And then it says find the area of a square with a side of five-fourths of an inch. Now, you should notice that since the numerator, the five, is larger than the denominator, that is larger than one. But um, the other thing you should notice is they did mention it was a square. And this one up here was a rectangle. So when you have a square, you know they're talking about something that all four sides are the same length. So if they give you one of the sides, and that's what they did in this problem right here, then you know the length of all four sides. So to find the area, it would be 5 fourths multiplied by 5 fourths. So when they ask for the area of a square, they might only give you one. Don't let that trick you. Then you just use the same one twice and multiply them together, and that's going to be 25 over 20, which all of you should recognize that can be reduced, or not actually reduced, but you would change it into a mixed number. 20 goes into 25 once. There's 5 left over, 5 over 20, which can further be reduced. That's going to be 1 and 1 fourth. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. You're totally right. Somebody put up two class points. I totally missed that one up, didn't I? Somebody said, how is that 20? It should be 16. They're right. It's 16. So 16 goes into 25 once. And there's four. There's nine left over. So nine sixteenths. One and nine sixteenths. Yeah, my bad. Sorry. All right. So this bottom part of the page, I just want to show you really quick how they're modeling these. So the top length is one quarter, and the top length of these models go from left to right. And the one on the side, that's, that's all these right here, okay? All those on the side, they go up and down. They're vertical. So um, this, the top one right here, number five, is a quarter. How many squares should we see? One, two, three, four. And the bottom, I'm sorry, the one on the side is two. How many squares should we see? One, two. Maybe I should color code those. That might help. Uh, so watch. Let me. I'll, I'll show you number six. I just want to. I just want you to see this. Okay. So I'll color co color code it here. So we're talking green. So there should be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
And then um, on the side, going up and down, there should be three. And there is. One, two, three. Let me do another one. Hang on with the questions here. Let me finish explaining there. This is, uh, this is being recorded. So um, there's four. One, two, three, four. And this one is also three quarters. So it's also four. One, two, three, four. Number eight here, it's three tenths. So there should be ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the one on the side, there should be five going up and down. One, two, three, four, five. And then, of course, what you should be recognizing as we go over these is that the numerator is the area that's colored in. Okay? Okay. So, um, let me do this next one here. One quarter. So there should be four. One, two, three, four. And there is. And the one on the side is three quarters. So again, there should be four. One, two, three, four. And there is. Okay? Group two erase points. So, um, and for this one, there's five. For the last one, there's five. There's five across, and there's five going up and down. So let's look at number 11 here. And I want you guys to do 11, 12, and 13 as part of your homework. It says, find the area of a rectangle. That's a clue. And so they've given you two lengths. It's five-thirds times three quarters. You guys should all be able to do that by now. Number 12 says find the area of a square and they only give us one one length. So all four sides of a square are the same length. So just like up above I explained a few minutes ago that would be three eighths times three eighths. And number 13 find the area of a rectangle and they've given us two lengths here and you should know what to do. Let's look at the next page here for your homework. I want you guys to go ahead and do, for your homework, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And, um, and 20. And I want you to do 20. So let's look at 14 really quick. It says Roy and Tom are working on a multiplication problem. Roy claims that 7 fourths times 3 eighths is 21 over 32. Tom claims that the correct answer is 21 over 8. Who is correct? There's your first question. Explain your answer. You guys can do that one because somebody's wrong. Number 15, Emilio needs to know how much area to clear for his son's square. There's a clue. Sandbox. Each side of the sandbox is um, three quarters of a yard. Find the area of the sand. Find the area. Find the area of the sandbox we'll cover. It's going to be three quarters times three quarters. That'll give you the area. Because remember, length times width. Number 16, Margaret purchased a doormat. And she... Uh, Seven of nine beams into Star Trek Picard. Whatever that's about, I don't know. Okay, whoops. I hope that didn't end my recording. Nope, didn't, good. Did that show up on your screen also? The little notification? Okay. All right, um, where was I? Number 16. So let's see, a half by... Yard, if that step is a quarter square yard, will it fit? So it's going to be a half times two thirds. That's going to equal something. And what you need to figure out is if that something, whatever it is, is equivalent to a quarter. If it's bigger than a quarter, then it won't fit. 
Okay, because that's the question. Will the mat fit? Number 17, each person on the Ferris wheel pays $650. There are 72 passengers, so $650 times 72, that will give you your answer. Number 18, higher order thinking. Kim installed a blue and white tile in her bathroom. She made a diagram of the layout showing the area of both colors. Write two expressions that describe the area of the blue tile. <coughs> okay. So it's six across and six going up and down. And then there's four squares that are colored. So I put four over six times four over six equals something. All right, that will represent the area of the blue. Now, if I wrote, if I wrote eight over 12, is that equivalent to four over six? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the same thing. That's equal to four over six. Whoops. Four over six. That's an equivalent fraction. What if I wrote, because um, it says write two expressions. So what if I did something like, um, how about 40 over 60? Is that equivalent? Yeah. Yeah. Just multiplied each one by 10. And if you reduce it, it would end up being 4 over 6. And 4 over 6 even you can reduce. So I think that's what they're looking for. So that's all we're looking for for number 18. Number 19, Wilhelmina, whoever that is, um, has 8.3 ounces of peanut butter. If she makes five sandwiches with an equal amount of peanut butter on each, how much peanut butter does she put on each one? So let me pull a stick here and, and for 50 points, tell me how you would figure that out. Number 19, Miss Beckler, any idea how, how you would do number 19? Um, you would do five times 8.3? No, good try. Miss Pettit, what do you think, 50 points? She's oh. Miss Moore, 50 points. Oh, wow. No, no? Let's try one more. Uh, Miss Garcia, any idea? She has to put the same amount of peanut butter on each one, and there's five sandwiches. What would you do? Eight point three divided by five. But that's the answer. Okay. That, well, that's how you would find the answer. Okay. And then finally, the last one Irene buys a talking doll for 1066 and some batteries for 422 and she pays with a $20 bill. So look what I scratched out. I scratched out this because I don't want you to estimate. I want you to tell me how much change should she get and see how I scratched out the last part too. I'm not worried about that. I like exact answers. I'm not worried about anybody. I don't want you to estimate. So for 20, scratch those two parts out and answer number 20. All right, that's it. I will probably do a homework video, but I'm not positive.